After I got high with Elena, I took my bot of his bicycle down Harlemer Strat and felt the wind brush through my hair. In the summer, I was in shorts and a t-shirt, feeling the warmth radiating from the brick buildings. Some mornings I'd wear a cocoon of fleece against the chilly air. I love the cold days as much as the warm ones. High on Dutch passion is close to flying without leaving the ground. Later I walked through the Dominican prostitute labyrinth in Den Haag. As the sun fell beyond the horizon and the ladies prepared for the evening, a few early birds popped in as well as the after work regulars. But compared to the peak times, between 10 and midnight, the aisle through the 30 windows was relatively free from John's. The place caters to locals, contrary to the higher class zones meant for lawyers near the world port. Those places were full of uptight Eastern Europeans hungry for money. But these Latinas settled into their professions like barbers or bakers. Several tuned to the same television channel playing the Smurfs in Spanish and they applied lotion like athletes before the big game. Chatting to each other, warming up muscles and fueling up on carbs of white rice and Indonesian being demolished at the end of the block, and a few fat, overworked cookers sat on dirty white plastic lawn chairs, and they stared at the monkeys outside. Perhaps just a few days from eviction, each became busy with the sudden lack of competition. I'm so tired of fucking, one lady told me when I asked her how she was doing. After we were finished, she washed her pussy in front of me. She sponged with soapy water from a bucket, front then back. The water ran down the cracks, down her legs and onto the floor. She toweled herself off and ran a mop through the puddle and set it in the bucket. She took the money and said goodbye.